And the Republican uh, nominee, the gubernatorial nominee, taking the stage right now, expected to speak. Let's listen in right now. Our team, but a special thanks to my wife, Alice, who has uh, been here with me day in and day out for all these years putting up with politics. So uh, thank you for being by my side and my family as well. And then all of our volunteers uh, across the state, uh, just tens of thousands of people who have been by our side for a lot of years that make victories like this possible. Uh, 90% was uh, far beyond our imagination, I think, uh, going into this. So uh, certainly a great race. Uh, it looks like maybe all 100 counties uh, for our campaign, which is a, another great uh, milestone. So uh, we just, again, especially thank our grassroots campaign. That's the campaign we've always run from the beginning. We, we started this thing off uh, about eight, nine years ago, traveling to all 100 counties and putting hundreds of thousands of miles on the car and uh, doing it the old-fashioned way and uh, shaking hands and meeting people and telling people what we're about and uh, why we think uh, that we're the right choice. And so we've done that again. That's the campaign we'll continue to run is taking it out to the people uh, one person at a time. So it's a big victory for us uh, from that front. Um, and then, you know, just make sure that we stay on platform and stay on message as we go forward. When we kick this thing off in August, uh, we laid a groundwork for the future and how we were going to run our campaign. We were very clear about that. And we based it on three things, unity, opportunity, and possibility. And unity is just about bringing people together. Now, we obviously live in a very uh, divisive time politically right now, and we believe it's time to pull all North Carolinians together to uh, do away with identity politics and pull people together for the good of North Carolina. So uh, we'll spend a lot of time talking about unifying our state. And then the second thing is opportunity. For those that are marginalized in our excellent economy right now, things are going well in North Carolina for a lot of people. But there's still people that are marginalized out there that are left behind either in education or in the job market. And we believe we have uh, the ability to uh, present a message to people in education, providing uh, opportunity for those in education who have been left behind and uh, making sure that every student, regardless of their zip code, has an opportunity for an excellent education. Uh, making sure that every person in North Carolina that wants a good paying job and wants a full-time job has the opportunity for that kind of work in our state. So uh, unity and opportunity in the third platform idea is possibility. And that's all about the future of North Carolina. What can we be? You know, we, we've kind of uh, sometimes uh, focused on the past and the things that have gone away in our state like textiles. Uh, and tobacco and furniture and it's time to start dwelling on the future looking ahead casting a vision for the future what are the possibilities 10 years 20 years and 50 years down the road and how do we go about uh, achieving those future goals what are the industries that we want to pursue who do we want to be in north carolina and bringing together the brightest minds of this state uh, we have some great people in this state some really creative innovative minds and we need to bring those people together cast a vision put together a plan put together a great team and figure out how to go tackle those things that uh, our state uh, faces and uh, in so many ways um, you know, I think our brightest days are yet ahead. We're blessed to live in the greatest country in the world, and we're even doubly blessed to live in the greatest state in the greatest country in the world. So I think our opportunity and possibility are, are, endless, uh, are endless for our state. But this is going to be a great campaign going forward. That's probably going to be the number one governor's race in the country, number one Senate race in the country. The 2020 convention goes through here, and for President Trump, uh, maybe a top four state even. So it's going to be a lot of attention on North Carolina politically. It's going to be the tip of the spear. And our job is to push forward with a positive campaign about what is best for the people of North Carolina. So that's what we intend to do. So uh, thank you guys for being here today, and uh, we look forward to running over the uh, next eight months. Thank you all. All right, Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest uh, predicting a spirited race, one that the country will be watching in terms of the U.S. Senate and the gubernatorial. All right, we want to.